You want to know how many lumens in Candela, the Cloud Defensive MCH with the 18350 body and the EDC head has. I've got two samples and I'm going to show you. It is often best to run multiple samples when you're doing a testing such as light testing. And I happen to have two 18350 bodies for the MCH with two different EDC heads. We're going to try them and I'm going to tell you how many Candela and how many Lumen they have. I'm going to start with Candela because it doesn't drain the battery as much and that allows me to get topped off and do the Lumen testing. So let's find out. So for me, sample one is going to be tan, sample two is going to be green in the body. So for this test, I'm going to dim the lights and then we're going to run this trying to get instantaneous max. Reset that real quick and then we'll go ahead and do ANSI Play-Doh max. So for instantaneous max, we're getting 32,180. Okay, stop. All right, so for ANSI Play-Doh max, we're getting 29,670. Still quite strong. All right, now sample two, let's go ahead and grab instantaneous max. I've got 30,130 instantaneous max. I believe that's the way Cloud Defensive tests theirs. All right, this sample's got 28,410, still quite strong. These two uh, samples seem to be performing similarly. Yeah, so this is a nice little form factor, easy to carry, and you can still use the switchback with it. I kind of like that. And that's the same also with the Mod Light and their 18350 body as well, is you can run pretty much the same sort of configuration. Very similar, very competitive. Let's get these batteries topped off and go ahead and test for lumens. Comes out strong, a little bit over 1100 lumens. Uh, let's see how she does over the next 10 minutes. Sample number two starts off a little bit over 1100 lumens and uh, starts dropping pretty quickly. We'll see how this compares. I'm gonna run this also for 10 minutes. I'll show you the charts and we'll wrap up. Pretty similar looking curves on both of these lights. You know, one final thing is Cloud does talk about light color quality. Let's go ahead and also do a capture of both of these lights, figure out what their color temperature is, and figure out uh, what the CRI is. The first sample gave us uh, 5,345 Kelvin. I like it. Wow. The second sample gave us a drastically different color, 4,270 Kelvin. I like it too, although it's, what, a thousand Kelvin off? Um, wonder why they're so different. You know, these two lights both say they are EDC heads and they gave us such drastic different color temperatures. I want to shine them on the wall and see. Yeah, they are drastically different. Significantly warmer for the one in my right hand. So these are two strong high output lights, both good performers. Each one's fairly different than the other one though. There's a thousand Kelvin in color temperature difference, which makes the sample two quite a bit warmer than sample one. Otherwise they look pretty similar. Hopefully this data helps you make a better decision as far as which light is right for you. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.